Welcome back. And this is still What Are You Saying? Hashtag ways. We're still talking surrogacy. And our second guest, not quite the second, maybe part of the first really, mm -hmm. has joined us. He is Mr. Lulu Ugumadi, Tony's husband, obviously, and co-founder of Precious Conception. Remember, you can join the conversation. Just tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at Show Africa one with the hashtag ways or SMS 081-803-84663. Welcome, Mr. Ogumadi. Thank you for joining us and you your me. wife. <laughs> <laughs> we dare not separate both of you. <laughs> she won't allow it. She won't yeah. allow it. We won't allow it. She's Ruth. Ruth. Thank you. Thank you for Thank you so much. Dragging me out here tonight. And I hope you don't feel uncomfortable amongst all these females. females. No, no, it's, it's my zone. Fantastic. <laughs> I like that. I like a man who's comfortable. <laughs> That's good. Okay, okay, so um, she's given us the background story. And um, telling that story, I just felt that, you know, there's, there's a strong man behind this woman who's extremely supportive. Because to my mind, this is something that, based on our social cultural norms and the way, you know, we're very patriarchal, this is something that you'd expect that, first year Yoruba rights. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, 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 I want to be the father of my own children. I'm not going to let anybody carry, you know. So, how is it that you were so supportive? Did, was there, did you feel any resistance? Did you give her any resistance? Or did you encourage her? Okay, well, the only resistance I probably presented right. along the line, because, yes. you know, like you said, this was over 10 years, yes. you know, spread over 10 years, was getting to a point where I was not particularly interested in, you know, the doctor visits. Right. They were, you know, they were rather it's too regular. Right. Too many of them. Too many of them. And you know, no results. Not even and the fact that there were no results, but the fact that she was constantly being exposed to procedures Aww. and stuff that Aww. I just felt were too painful. Oh, that is so. So sweet. there were times where I would say no more. No more. You know, I just want you to be my you wife know, and be alive. I, I, well, I remember a time I asked her. I said. Your marrying me was not predicated on being fantastic. Can you say children. that again, please? <laughs> People need but, to but, hear this. You know, but that, that's just the reality of it. You know, fantastic. You know, because you know, like you said, you do some emotional stuff, and then you Absolutely. do some logical things. Absolutely. You know, so at the point I asked myself, so what if she never actually, we never actually have biological children? Yeah. What would happen? Would that take away would from the fact the that end? we both love each other? Exactly. You know, so I told her at the point that I didn't marry you for children, and she couldn't deal with that. Of course, every woman, because because woman can do with that. that. You know, that. An average yeah, woman can do it. But you know, that's because I was like, she. you know, if we have to go through all of this, yes. and you know, I just didn't see the need. And you know, of course, then on the other side, I'm a Christian, so okay. I'm like, well, at God's right. time, we we'll wake up one morning we'll and you'd be pregnant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. You know, so I had to play in between those two extremes. But eventually, I realized that well, if she's more comfortable with the medical line, yes. let's do that. Let's but it was it. just too, too painful for her. And you wow. know, of course, her pain, to some extent, is my pain. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, you know, wow. So. I'm so touched by this. You guys, you know I'm a hopeless romantic. <laughs> <laughs> when she tells me I'm romantic. <laughs> well, oh, he is, so, eh? So, so when you flowers. So when you went to India, how long were you there for before you? Yeah, well, I was junketing, you know. Oh, would that would have been. Come back that would have put a go. huge strain on your pocket. Yes. So did that deter oh, yes, you? Yes, yes. Did that deter you from being part of the process? No, I no, 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 no. Once we committed to it, because the kind of person I am, once I commit to something, I'm there. Okay. So once we agreed, because initially, when um, before we got to the point where we agreed with the idea of sorrow, so the first time was brought to me, I said no. Wow. Why? I told. I said you would birth my children. That's yeah. what I want, you know. But when the last um, procedure doctor. she had also came out and the doctor told her there's no point, yeah. no, let's Don't hurt bother. you. So I had to start thinking about it. And then there was a day she even talked about, okay, do you want us to adopt? And I was like, yeah. yes, we can adopt, but we'll adopt after our biological children. Mm -hmm. Because I've always had a desire to adopt children yes. out of, you know, the, the, the need to be charitable. So, charitable. so I said, we'll have our children and then we'll decide on when and how many we want to adopt okay. here. So mm -hmm. eventually I just felt, okay, if this is it, let's do it. Okay, so Precious um, Conceptions. Mm. I know that uh, it's an outfit that deals with um, surrogacy currently. Yes. And um, I'm, I'm sure because of what you went through mm. that actually motivated you into doing yes. this. Mm -hmm. yes. So what uh, how, was the process of you getting a carrier for 
uh, uh, a couple. Months. It's 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 quite simple. Yeah. Um, during our own time, we didn't have anyone talk about it or counsel us or educate us. Nothing. So it Apart was like a void. Pastor. Yes. Yeah. So it was it was it was like a void, and it was like groping in darkness. But since I started sharing my story, it's amazing how people come forward. And they volunteer and they say, I want to be a surrogate mother. It still shocks me till today. Really? Yes. Yeah. Even their husbands come with them. It's a problem, yeah. So what's the, process? So what's the process? It's, of it, selecting it, it, it takes a long time. You can be on our waiting list for six months, one year, before yeah. we match you with a family. No, so, what I mean is, what are the processes you go through to, be, to yes. make sure that they are actually mm -hmm. ready mm -hmm. for yes, the task? That's, mm -hmm. that's why I said it, it takes, takes uh, as long as okay. six months, one yeah. year, because you go through a lot of screening, okay. you go through a lot of counseling, we do background checks, okay. we verify the address you put on your records, we check your medical records, your medical history, yeah. and we are constantly evaluating you psychologically, and then you that's go to the important. hospital. We have a control center for surrogacy. You go to the hospital, the doctor must check you out and must be okay. And, you know, mm -hmm. we, we are counseling, we are screening, the doctors are also screening. Because at the end of the day, we don't want someone who will wake up one day and say, and change I want my child. And yeah. I, I, no, the, the, you know, because the children are not genetically connected. So what you is? can't lay claim on that baby as and yours. there's a contract, of course. Yeah. And there's okay. an agreement. Okay. But there's no law. There's no legal framework. So how do you navigate this? There's none. Okay, so the law is silent. Silent, and, not and there. the law is silent. And so if, the laws, if, if the laws, silent. of no, nine, if, if see, you know, we take after the UK in a lot of things. So if, if the law is to, be, is to be lifted up, most likely we'll take after UK. Yeah. And in UK, there's no so commercial surrogacy, it's all treason. But fortunately for us, for now in Nigeria, the law is silent. And what you'll do is you'll regulate whatever you're doing with tight contract. legal contracts. For the purpose of our viewers, what's yes. the difference between the... I mean, I know what it is. Altruism and commercial, like... So you can't, you can't commercialize surrogacy in UK and in some other parts of the world okay. in that you can't bring forth somebody and say you're compensating that person to yeah. carry okay. a child for you. So oh, really? in UK, it goes on record. Uh, so long as she's the birth mother, right. in that the baby, she carries the pregnancy to... To term, to term, it goes on record that she's the birth mother, and unless she signs a parent, you know, there's a parental right. order thing that mm -hmm. comes in, and then she she waves that parental right. Yeah. she's yeah. seen as the mother. The mother. Oh, the That's the carrier. Yes, yeah. and yeah. you can only reimburse her for expenses on, on to a certain degree. So she, but in Nigeria, you can compensate a surrogate mother mm -hmm. for her commitment, her time. So her that's the commercial. Mm -hmm. So they see it as commercialization. Okay. But we see it as, as compensation, compensation because compensation. You, can't, you can't, you can't, you can't put a value on sure, what they on a do. Child. So oh, does that mean that probably the, the, the carrier can come back and say this child is actually mine? In Nigeria, if you do not both have an ways. agreement, no, both, that, that both in Nigeria agreement. and in uh, in the UK. Okay, so in the UK, so long as you are the one that gives birth to the child, you are mm -hmm. recognised as the birth mother. Unless and you, you can, waive that unless right. you waive that right, okay. and you go to court and do all of all of that. But in Nigeria, we don't have that enforcement. So we say the law is silent, right. and what we do is we back it up with legal contracts. And in the contracts you're signing, you're waiving whatever rights, either now or whether there is a law that comes in future to say um, you are the mother. So you, you are waiving those rights. You are establishing that you did gestational surrogacy. You are in no way. Connected, connected to the, to the child yeah. you're yeah. carrying yeah. by mm -hmm. DNA matter. You know, if you want to, if you want to do a check, if you want to pay for the DNA screening, that's fine. We well, allow you. The, to, I know that there are that. different types of um, surrogacy, surrogacy. Yes. in which the the, the carrier is. Um, they use the um, carriers. Um, that's traditional that's surrogacy. Traditional we don't do that, we don't do that. Okay. and okay. it's not encouraged in Nigeria. Now, some mm -hmm. people do it silently because they don't want to go through the cost of IVF and all of that. Right. So they look for a young girl who is naive enough to donate her eggs. And, okay. you know, she does it through, you know, what the process they go through for that is artificial insemination. Right. But for gestational surrogacy, we bypass your ovaries and we bring out the eggs from the intending mother, right. fertilize, and then transfer into, into a third person, into, the, into mm -hmm. the carrier. So you are bypassing her genes. Completely. So what happens if you're expecting one child and three came, comes up? So what's the agreement? 
who takes who takes the other two children. Yeah. Expecting one child, how? And three, I, I don't okay. understand that. Mm -hmm. you could, so you so could it depends how on, many it's on, on the embryos, mm -hmm. the number of embryos. So you transfer. make that in the agreement of that course. whatever the outcome, you own it's all the It's the intended parents. Okay. Yeah. So long as she's going through surrogacy no, because for I've that seen family. That before. Mm -hmm. They thought it was going to be one, and three came up. So it was the issue of who owns the two. And the intending parents said, no, they only budgeted for one. I'm sorry, that doesn't Are happen. Are we buying tomatoes? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, no exactly. I know who ha it happened no, but you in know, my journey. It's a possibility. Yes. So what, what's the legal, agreement what's the legal wasn't framework? Yeah, what's yeah. the legal yeah. framework mm -hmm. in India? For in India yeah. now, there's no commercial the, surrogacy. The, the, the it's been it's been banned. So, it's um, so okay. for you to go through surrogacy in India, you must be an in, you must be an Indian resident in India. Oh. And so at the yeah, time you did yours, it wasn't the case. It, it wasn't the it case. Wasn't oh. It That's was only like a year after we came back. Yeah, See how good works. A year and a half. Yeah. <laughs> but if they had done it in Nigeria, it would we call it have been successful? It could. But you, you, if, if you recall, as I didn't time, know. We didn't. Okay. As at that time, we. You know, because this was new to us. Of course. Of course, we both had read about or seen stuff on surrogacy, mm -hmm. but it wasn't something that you were looking at as something you'd end up as doing. A consideration. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, you know, it was new to us. So, we realized at the last moment when we saw the last person here that even though he had the setup to do it, we just felt, let's it's go to somewhere to where this thing has been done over time, yeah. and then we had gotten you know, information about That's this particular hospital in India who was, who was one of the best in the world, mm -hmm. you know. So we went there, and a lot of the things that the doctors here, and you know, this is a bit on the negative of our, you know, with regards to our health care here, system, yeah. a lot of the things that the doctors were struggling to confirm What's to us easy? here were confirmed in hours over there. Okay, let me, let me take you back a bit, okay? What is the greatest challenge you've had trying to run Precious Concepts, con conceptions. conceptions, the greatest challenge you've had. Okay, so is, is the stigma attached to infertility? Mm -hmm. That has been the major um, wall I've had to break down. Okay. And because I openly talk about my experience, I openly display pictures of my children Children's. and all of that. So. They look at it like, oh, it may not be that bad after all. After all. And, and, you know, whatever it is that you have, it, it can be a myth, it can be a misconception, it can be the truth. So basically educating. So I've spent yeah. years on advocacy, on advocacy, Fantastic. educating people, organizing seminars, sometimes in my sitting room. Yeah. Sometimes I'll use my money to rent a meeting space. Sometimes right. I'll have some bank or, you know, some individual or laboratory that will collaborate and then give us space. Okay. So how so many... Cost, sorry, Isi. Sorry, please sorry take it. Isi. No, please <laughs> take it. How many stories have you... How many conceptions has okay. been successful? <laughs> successful, <laughs> yeah. successful? With precious conceptions. Success yeah. Yeah. With precious yeah. conceptions. Success yeah. rates. Yes, yeah. yeah. from the beginning to the end. Yeah. It's like 99%. Wow. No, how many okay. on so, the tip of your finger? On, 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 okay, so... Okay, so... Um, on record, we have about 44 babies. Oh, wow. wow. Several on the way. We have a lot wow. of twin pregnancies on, ongoing wow. right, now. Uh, right now. And it, and and not all of them are from surrogacy because surrogacy is not the only thing we do. No, surrogacy is one care. of the things we right. do. I was going to say that. It's, well, it's a family building consultancy. consultancy. So we help okay. people build. plan and uh, build okay. their families and give them the option that is best suited to them, mm -hmm. whether IVF or non-IVF channels. Okay. Because we have people who don't need IVF, IVF. Sure. Mm -hmm. people who don't need it's surrogacy. surrogacy. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you don't need surrogacy and you come to me and say, I need a surrogate mother, I'll say, look, I will take the money from you, but I won't do that. I will look at what is best for you and give mm -hmm. you your solution. And we work with you till you achieve pregnancy. So you work with medical practitioners? Yes, Absolutely. we have. Yes, Absolutely. because we are not a hospital, we're a consultancy. Okay, so um, okay, based on the cost Sorry, we have some questions from our Oh, fantastic. Audience. So cost implication wise, um, you, you stated that one has to have minimum or maximum of 8.5. For it, one successful for one cycle, yeah, because successful. The, the cycle might not work. Can you work. give us a breakdown of what this entails? Okay, actually. so um, we <laughs> have our management fees, mm -hmm. we have the legal fees, we have screening fees, because we have to pay for screening, background checks, and all of that. Mm. And then we have the compensation that goes to the surrogate mother herself, which is the bulk of the money. Yeah. So the surrogate mother might take four million? 
Um, it depends on your negotiation. So yes. not really. We, we don't. We don't. It, it's not a negotiation thing because we have a compensation plan. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we take care. They have. They have paid compensation in, mm. in terms of cash comp compensation. They have benefits in kind, and and they we have housing provision for them, or we okay. support their rent. Mm. So it depends on where they live. And the proximity, you know, to, 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 to the, the hospital we're using. To, so we take all of that into consideration. Down. Feeding allowance, maternity clothing. And if you go through a CS, yeah. if you go through a seclage, if you go through an assisted delivery. So all of that. So it, it, it varies. Dynamic. Yeah, so it varies based on what you go through. Whether you're having a natural delivery or you're having an assisted delivery. Or whether you're carrying a single thing or you're carrying a multiple, multiple gestation triple. and all of that. And then, of mm. course, we, um, the transportation to the, to the hospital, we don't allow you jump bus. You will go in a taxi, you know, and then we it takes care of the surrogate handler's fees. It takes care of, you know, everything. Comprises of okay. oh, yes. let, let me Let me take a question from our audience. So someone's asking, can my eggs be used for surrogacy? I'm 47 years, married for 17 years. This is a man asking because mm -hmm. eggs, no, no, eggs are for <laughs> women. From, from, from the woman. So this it says but thanks, Obi, and I'm assuming okay. that's a man's name. Obi. Well, maybe he's asking Obi. for Obi. a woman. Obi. 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 Uh, as a woman. Okay. Okay. Uh, for a woman who is 47 mm. and she has to go through IVF, I am sorry, it will be donor eggs. Mm -hmm. Mm. Now, a, a, a girl child is born with all her eggs complete. So as she's coming into the world, all her, her ovarian reserve is complete. She okay. can't increase yeah. it. Mm. She can only deplete. deplete. Yeah. So as you grow older in age, you are depleting Depleted, your reserve. Which is why you freeze eggs, right? Yes. Oh. And the quality. So, and the quality. quality so uh, you're losing your reserve. You're wow. losing the quality. So you're every losing. Every day of life. Every, every month. Every day. Every month. Wow. It's cycle. depleting. You know the circle. You, you know, because there's a cycle. Yeah. And by the time you hit 35, you're, you're at your, you're at your, your you've peak. gone to your peak and you're dropping. Wow. Mm. By the time you're 38, it's, it's rapidly declining. Uh -oh. So, <laughs> So you sit before a doctor so who is an IVF. Borderline. So wow. I was on borderline. I it was I was just it was just God's time. So how do we well, explain borderline. people that are actually that hmm. actually give birth at the age of fifty five? Okay, so, 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 so I, 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 I have think we're going to have a show after the show <laughs> <laughs> because we haven't got much time for a lot of questions, <laughs> and this is not something that we can actually cover in one show. For me to answer that that guy, if the obi is a woman at forty seven, she's not been able to conceive. Yes. It's donor IVF. Donor IVF. Yes. Hmm. You don't think you don't suggest she should try? No. No, she's been trying. Because because she might be stimulated and she has well, empty follicles. But her question is: so and, it can be used for surrogacy, though. But it's not if, her eggs that you're saying, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, so if enough. if she doesn't have a problem with her uterus, she yes. doesn't need a surrogate mother. She can carry. She can herself. carry. That's fine. Mm. She'll probably just. So maybe the reason eggs. she's asking is because she's not been able to carry. Exactly. So if she's going to consider surrogacy. Yeah, because some people come to me and say, "I've not know. been able to get pregnant. I need a surrogate." I say, "No. If there's nothing wrong with your uterus, I won't give you a surrogate mother. Mm -hmm. Let's let's check you Why? out. Why? What if see. it's my option? I don't want to. If go it's your the option. Yeah. Yes. That's different. I respect your option. But because you think you've you've yeah, not been able wrong. to get pregnant, okay, so or because you failed, and automatically is no, okay. because it's not automatic she would get pregnant. Well, unfortunately, I would love to continue this conversation, <laughs> but I'm sure like we'll have a show after the show. <laughs> it's been amazing having you both on the show. Very insightful, uh, Mr. Gumadi. Do you have last words? Just a few words for oh, our well, viewers. You know, at home? I like you said. You know, I don't usually show up at our interviews <laughs> because. Thank you. I see, you know, one. traditionally, yes. the issue of fertility it's is usually, a woman's story. Mm, you know, so yeah. I'd like to hide in the background. And so well, thank you for changing that narrative <laughs> tonight. But, yeah, <laughs> once in a while, they ask for the male yes. perspective. Right? Yes. So that's why I'm here. Fantastic. Thank, thank you so tell much. People that nothing is impossible. This I, I agree. And yeah. everybody should be like Mr. Gumadi. That's what I'm saying. Tell us. Support be supporting. Emotionally, financially. Oh, so blessed. <laughs> Okay, uh, viewers, uh, shows are rebroadcast on Saturdays, Sundays, and Mondays, respectively, at 3 p.m. You can catch the repeat broadcast of tonight's show tomorrow, don't miss it, at 3 p.m. It's been an insightful and thoughtful, thought-provoking conversation. And ladies, you agree, right? Absolutely. Oh, definitely. There's <laughs> <laughs> so much we want to add. Um, we do. Okay, audience, questions. please keep the conversations going on our social media platforms as yes. we continue to hear what you are saying. And if you missed our quote for today, here it is again. However motherhood comes to you, mm -hmm. it's a miracle. So be yes. thankful. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye. Say bye.
Bye. Bye. <laughs>